everybody welcome back to the channel today I am going to make a Mardi Gras wreath so what I'll be using today is a 14 inch wreath frame got this from Dollar Tree I'll be using green purple and gold mesh the two green these two mesh right here the green and the purple these are 10 inches and the gold is 6 inches I'm also going to be using five different ribbons these three and also these two I'm going to be using the gold and green ornaments from this I got this left over from Christmas from Dollar Tree uh, I'm also going to be using these two masks I got these from Dollar Tree and okay that was my phone sorry I forgot to turn it off I'm also going to be using these beads here so the first thing I'm going to do is prep my wire wreath frame I'm going to do eight Chanel stems on the outside two bars and then eight on the inside two so I'm going to go ahead and prep this and I will be right back okay this is what it's going to look like all the Chanel stems on. I have a total of 18. Eight on the outside, eight on the inside. And I'm going to use the ruffle method. I cut the green mesh here 20 inches and the gold I cut 15 inches. So now I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut seven more pieces of green and eight pieces of purple 20 inches. And I'm also going to cut eight pieces of gold 15 inches when I finish cutting that I'll be back to show you how I'll add it onto my wreath frame I got two more pieces of the gold to cut and I'll be through with the mesh one two so that'll be a total of eight purple eight gold and eight green So here's all of my mesh all cut. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do every other one will be a different color. So this one's green, the one next to it be purple, and then green, purple, all the way around the outside. So what I'm going to do is make my ruffle. And to do that, I'm going to fold this in like this and then just along the middle here and then when I get to the edge on this side here fold this side under and then there you go right here so now I'm just going to add this to the Chanel stem right in the middle and just tie it down twist it two or three times right there and there it goes right there and I'm going to do another one here this one here is going to be green and I'm going to add a gold on top of it so let me grab this right here I'm going to have it face down. I'm going to fold this end right here. Just fold it up. Right here. And then I'm just going to walk my fingers down the middle. And fold this side right there. And just continue on and I'm going to add this one right here and 
just twist it a few times. And on this green one, I want to add a gold. So this one's 15 inches. So I just fold this side right here underneath. And then I just walk down the middle. And then when I get to this side, fold this side down. And then just continue to walk. So have this right here. And then I'm just going to add it to the green. I'm going to finish this up all the way around. And then I'll be right back. Okay, and here it goes. Nice and full. I have touches of gold throughout. I've got greens, purples, all Mardi Gras colors. So the next thing I'm going to do is do my bundles. So I am going to cut by ribbon eight inches. And I'm going to make me some bundles. So what I'm thinking is put these two together and put these two together. And I'm going to add a little bit of gold to each one of these. So I'm going to make 16 bundles, eight of each one of these, and then I'm going to make eight bundles of these 16. I'm going to add some gold to it. You'll see once I do it. So let me go ahead and cut this, and I'll be right back when I'm through cutting it and dovetailing it. So camera magic. Okay, here are my bundles already separated. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my bundles to my wreath. So, I'm going to find two of the twist ties here. I'm going to get a bundle, fold it in half. The crease is right about here. And all I'm going to do is right here. And since this has a print, I want the print to be facing me when I add it to the bundle. So just make sure it's right side up. And then I'm just going to twist, twist, there. So, and here it is. That's one. I'm going to go ahead and make another one. I'm going to go all the way around the outside first and then the inside. So here it is right here. I'm going to fold it this is about the middle right here and I'm just going to squish it and then I'm just going to add it right here. Twist it a couple of times, and there she goes. Right there. Go ahead and do this one also. 
Then I'm going to speed this up. It's just these two right here. Just about the middle. I'm going to twist these up. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up. And when I finish, I'll be right back. Okay, this is how it's looking. Nice and full. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some beads. Let's see how this goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the saxophones and these little gold pieces off. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some beads throughout. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to add these to the zip ties and I'll be right back. got my beads on and the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to place my mask and then I was going to add my ornaments to it and my saxophone so. okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to snip my leftover Chanel stems I don't need these anymore Okay, so for the mask, I'm just going to, I'm just going to add a bunch of hot glue after I figure out where I want to place it. Let me hot glue it down and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here it is. Um, so far, I still have to make the bow, but this is what it's looking like. I'm thinking I'm going to put a big bow in the middle here. So let me go ahead and grab my ribbon and get ready for that. So, one second. 
I'm going to make a bow and it is going to be 24 inches long each strip. So I'm going to make one of my DIY's bestie bows. So I am going to measure eight pieces of ribbon, two of each one of these at 24 inches. So let me go ahead and cut that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and I'm going to go down five inches and then just squish this right here and then I'm going to fold this in half. Go down five inches and squish. Chanel stem and I'm going to wrap it around nice and snug and then just twist Now, all I'm going to do is fluff. find a good spot for my bow and I'll be right back and here it is so let me move it over to the wall so y'all have a better view of it okay everybody here it is the finished product let me get a close up Here it is. And here's this, this side over here. And there's the big pretty bow. So y'all, if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I know, shameless plug. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Thank you.